students in the southern city of Chennai protest against the judgment in Karnataka High Court. Three judges, including a Muslim woman, dismissed petitions challenging a ban on headscarves in the state schools and colleges. They said wearing a headscarf is not an essential religious practice in Islam, therefore isn't protected by India's constitution, which guarantees religious freedom. The petitioners disagree. It's totally injustice what we have got today and we have so much hope in our judicial system, in our you know, society and constitutional values, but we, have, we are feeling like we have been betrayed by our own country. Almas was part of a group from Karnataka who went to the High Court after a number of colleges in the state began asking students to remove their headscarves. School staff said the young women were violating the uniform code. There were 10 standoffs between Muslim students protesting against the restriction and Hindu nationalists who rallied in support of the ban. The protests led to many schools and colleges in the state being closed for at least a week and the local government banning headscarves while the High Court made its decision. One of the students' lawyers told Al Jazeera the ruling would imply that the wearing of Hindu symbols known as bindis or Christian crosses should also be banned. Will there be a government order which says that uh, you will not wear bindis or you will not wear a cross when you come, in, come into school? And if such a, an order were passed, then the Karnataka High Court would be bound by its judgment of three judges. But how likely is it that uh, the government will pass such an order? I mean, it seems extremely unlikely. Extremely unlikely. Extremely unlikely, I agree with you. The flip side is that Other lawyers say the ruling is a setback for women's rights. In a society where the female workforce participation rate has fallen dramatically from the 1990s, we cannot afford to shut the doors on young women who are attempting to go to school. The students' lawyers and Muslim groups are planning to challenge the ruling in India's Supreme Court. The Karnataka government's lawyer says the ruling marks a paradigm shift in the interpretation of religious freedom that's guaranteed in the Indian constitution. There are concerns the judgment could set a precedent and lead to similar bans in other states, especially those governed by the Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janta Party of Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Elizabeth Puranam, Al Jazeera, New Delhi.